Today is the 15th of June, 2022. Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel in conjunction to that. Like my official YouTube videos, share the links to my official YouTube videos, and go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com. Look through my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, as well as go to my book section, which will have the links to the Amazon books that I authored, wrote, and compiled, as well as there's my artwork that I have been working on a bit of a little bit of a hiatus for some time frame. So in the information area of this particular official YouTube video of mine, I will put the links to the different videos that brought this particular <laughs> conglomeration together to a degree. So recently, today, the 15th of June, 2022, I was listening to Outnumbered, a congratulation to the Republican Party as far as flipping certain seats. Obviously, there are those who have the understanding regarding various situations to security as to the various areas and the reasons why. And in conjunction to that, the outnumbered um, link that I will put in the reference to this official YouTube video of mine, there's also, I did enjoy listening to Kellyanne Conway when in the years of 2015, 2016, and into 2017 and 18 regarding several factors as to her particular points of view. Of course, I've enjoyed quite a few of the females' points of view on Outnumbered, and yes, of course, the one male that usually is there. <laughs> and so then I was also listening to uh, Will Kane and Pete Hegseth. Now, Pete Hegseth apparently has congratulations regarding the new book in that reference, and that is a conjoint portion as to this in the larger aspect. Now, recently, the current president of the United States of America, 46, Joe Biden, who also was vice president of the United States of America, 46, during the time frame of when I had earned my 26, ironically, half in an ish way, of my scuba diving certifications. Now, one of the things Will Kane and Pete Hegseth, though also the females and male, in regards to Outnumbered from Fox News, and then I video, if I recall correctly, it's NBC, as to certain current situations. And so, while President of the United States of America, 46, Joe Biden, brought up in regards of actually saying the word God, on a live video as a Democrat. I don't know how many people brought that forward in regards to. There's also the Vice President of the United States of America, 48, Kamala Harris, who had brought forward, among others, regarding Kwanzaa, which obviously has religious and spiritual backgrounds. The background of is and so in addition to that I've studied quite a few quite a few I've brought it up I'm an ordained reverend and I went through the confirmation class which took a year it was a lot of work in reference to Old Tenet Presbyterian Church part of Presbyterian Church USA and one of the things that Will Kane and Pete Hegseth were discussing was the not only the history as to the education system within the United States of America, though in more specific aspects as to the religious, faith-based, God-centered, however you put it, or divinity-centered, not as the main central point, though as a point of. In conjunction to that, the foundation aspects as to the country of the United States of America and how it fits within the world. Now, one of the things that caught my attention the most would be in reference to the education system, which 
for those who knew me in person, face to face, in person, during the years of most specifically 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012, in person, face to face, in person, had discussions with me as to what I was dealing with, as to the best that I possibly could during the time frame, as to the public school system. What happened in reference to my son and my daughter, my son had issues because of McCoy Elementary School of Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District as to my reward for him regarding how because he had been in gifted and talented and had higher grades, the reference of how he had a very small mohawk. It was very short as far as the hair. It wasn't one of those big spiky hair situations. And he was informed that he was allowed to have it over the summer and for a few of the first weeks of school. So he dealt with that. I was informed of that. I went into the school and they tried to claim that I should care about their feelings. And well, in the year 2020, uh, there's a mask, though non-mask, for a picture, as to my opinion, which would be far less politically correct than the way I spoke with the individuals at McCoy Elementary School. As far as I was concerned regarding hairstyle, and hair color in my reference because, well, in that school, it's not as though I didn't have my own issues. And I did bring up those particular factors, not just in person, face to face, in person regarding discussions I had with people, though also in the emails and the posts online and various social media areas. And so anybody who has an issue in that particular reference, well, if you have an issue with what occurred regarding McCoy Elementary School and or Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District, well, I shouldn't have a problem with my hair supplies, now should I? Now, in that particular reference, in that conjunction aspect, in my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, specifically in regards to the updates from the year of 2019 into 2020 and 2021 more specifically i had written about the problems regarding what my viewpoint were, was and is not just in reference to the public school system such as carrollton farmers branch independent school district though also the various situations regarding teacher unions and the aspects of which Pete Hegseth discussed with Will Kane in regards to homeschooling and how the knowledge as to homeschool parents where yes, they obviously have the capability of doing certain things regarding that though the larger aspects of. So once their children essentially graduate whatever the curriculum is and are capable to go to despite certain factors as to college education, depending on which way they go, there is the fact that that is a different version of empty nest syndrome in a very different capacity in comparison to parents that want to stay involved with certain things in the difference as to homeschooling. Now, homeschooling parents where they have not only educated their children or child, depending on though, maybe even other children in those references. Well, what do they do after that particular point in time? What is it that they can assist with? And so in my opinion, as I had written in regards of my journal blog, the ornery PSA, I brought forward that depending on, especially after the initial situation regarding March of 2020, as to a suggestion in reference to an overall viewpoint as to going and doing an overall standardized test. And then placing children, whatever ages, in the correct categories for their intellectual level. Now, in St. John Vianney High School, we had a different type of timing for our classes compared to any other school. We had essentially in one semester of school, 
an entire year of work in comparison to the average where it's a year of work. So this is why I was capable to graduate early. It was, I think it was called block scheduling. And so in that reference, literally the time frame where it would be considered midterms for some, that wasn't the case for St. John Vianney High School in the time frame that I went there. So the students that I was in school with by technicalities, which I'm sure that they were extremely bored when they went to college, I would guesstimate, especially some of the people that I personally knew, they were probably bored because they already went through the classes as far as that was concerned. Not only did they go through the classes, but they had more education most likely than some of their teachers at that reference to professors, I'm going to guesstimate, and then <laughs> it is as it is in those regards. So in that reference of block scheduling, where essentially from the September timeframe into December-ish, January timeframe, you have an entire semester or an entire year of school per class. This infuriated my biological mother because she thought that that translated to, because of moving to Illinois, that that would do a different capacity in comparison to the educational factors. And so while she didn't pay attention to the block scheduling descriptions, I did. And that's why I worked as much as I did to be capable to graduate early because I could see quite a few situations that were necessary for myself, though not just for myself, obviously, for others. So in this reference as to what I brought forward in my journal blog, the Ornery PSA, if I remember correctly, it was either the year 2020, possibly 2021, in regards of the overall standardized testing. And then in some ways, kind of the conjunctionary aspects as to the block scheduling, for some classes, because there are certain children that would be capable, especially in the teenage years, to the younger age children, depending on how much work they have been capable to actually accomplish in this time frame, if as to such a suggestion. Because with the knowledge, not only in reference to the formation of the US Space Force, signed into office through the year of 2020, with the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, as to the administration work through the time frame to get the US Space Force actually formulated in conjunction to those who know, I thought it was common sense as to the civilian recreational scuba diving community when in the year of 2009. However, I suppose maybe I was the only one who had that knowledge in regards of the year of 2009 when I had earned my 26 scuba diving certifications. We didn't really discuss certain things, mainly because of the fact I was earning 26 scuba diving certifications and I was not there in a recreational capacity. However, those who would know St. John Vianney High School, as far as block scheduling, if you don't know St. John Vianney High School, that block scheduling would be a viewpoint to take in consideration as to how I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications and successfully graduated per individual certification or however the terminology is. So when you take that in consideration that for those who would know that back in the year of 2009 onward to this year of 2022, then there's the capacity of understanding both the situations in reference to the oceanic waters, though in conjunction to such as NASA and SpaceX and Blue Origin, as well as the formation of the US Space Force, part of the Department of Defense for the United States of America, which obviously other countries around the world have some form of space study. Now, in my opinion, and this is my opinion only, I don't have the knowledge, though I would guesstimate President of the United States of America 45, Donald J. Trump, having had hotels probably had security cameras on the rooftop, similar to the company such as Hilton, where they have the taller 
types of hotels that would have the security cameras in whichever directions that they'd be pointed. And I would guesstimate, despite the difference compared to an observatory telescope and those particular factors, having certain viewpoints literally and figuratively as well as metaphorically. In those references as to not just some, some situations as my childhood and my teenage years, though others which would have more knowledge in regards of similarly to Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment, as the Pentagon and Department of Defense of the United States of America has begun to release different videos and footage and those references such as the Tic Tac video and individuals who have been stationed on Navy ships and or Marine ships and or Coast Guard ships having seen whatever they may have seen and then those particular situations. So with that particular viewpoint as to what Will Kane and Pete Hegseth were discussing in a conjunction to some of the topic points regarding outnumbered, and again, I will put the links in the information section to this official YouTube video of mine, the border, well, it can be a multitude of, and not just in regards to the Texas, Mexico area, obviously. So when you take in consideration as to the knowledge, as some may have known back in the time frame of 2009 compared to now in the year of 2022 and onward, the facts of what is purpose in life, the earth that we live on, <laughs> some people in, depending where they're at, because you know, <laughs> there are different aspects as to i will say there is the armed forces of the united states of america i mean there are basements i'll leave it at that and uh and and there are discussions on other official youtube video channels such as joe rogan experience where they have certain people from nasa who live in the waters as to certain studies and obviously there are submarines for that additional reference so on and in the earth the earth is inside of the solar system within the milky way galaxy it took however many centuries for various scientists to be capable to find a planet as far out as pluto i know that the astrophysicist aspect of uh, Neil, De, Neil deGrasse Tyson as to certain factors regarding Pluto, though there is also the factors of how planets are actually formed in certain situations, which you can take in consideration when looking as the planets get closer to the sun at the center of the solar system. And the orbital path per individual planet in those references to the size, the density that may be known, so on and so forth in those particular references it's to the orbiting. But that's in a flat sort of way or a linear as to a longitude viewpoint as to the solar system. People who have studied science know that an atom has the nucleus, it has electrons, and it has protons. And so in some ways, you can take in consideration as to how the solar system actually would be in the Milky Way galaxy for a hypothetical to take in consideration. Now, locations such as towers and those particular viewpoints as to the Tic Tac video for one reference would be something to take into consideration as to progression forward as to an overall education aspect because of the need for that while at the same time ending all types of stolen valor because of the need in those references not just in regards as to how vast the oceanic waters are as well as the fact of the earth is one planet in the entire solar system that is known up to this particular point in time in the year of 2022. And with that, <laughs> there is the fact that it is the solar system and not the Milky Way galaxy. So the Milky Way galaxy is where the solar system is in. 
and there's other galaxies throughout the universe that some scientists have brought forward, or astronomers, uh, astrophysicists, so on and so forth, that have discussed this, written papers, books, so on and so forth. And so in this time frame, in reference to Will Kane and Pete Hegseth, as to their discussion, again, I'll put the link in the area for you to be capable to go listen to, they discussed the homeschooling in comparison to the public school system compared to the religious school system as well as in comparison to colleges and universities and those particular factors. And so again, I had authored a journal blog, The Ornery PSA, on my website www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com as to the possibilities to take that in consideration because of the time frame. Now, the way I raised my son and my daughter when they were young, I would read to them. Not only would I read to them in, a, in whichever book each one of them chose, I would also pick whatever textbook or encyclopedia to actually read to them the way I had as a child. I didn't do the exact same things with them as I had when I was a child before my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 because of the facts that I deal with headaches and migraines after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. So in this particular reference as to the possibility of, especially regarding the fact that would be capable to be brought forward in a different capacity as to genuinely taking in consideration the divinity aspects as to the reality of, as well as the factors as to the educational points. Now, the foundation of the United States of America was because of religious freedom, Judeo-Christian values. Now, I don't know whether anyone else other than myself has thought of this or questioned and wondered about this. I have. I have spent many, 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 I don't know how to count that high, I'll acknowledge, times pondering, well, how is it that we even got to the year of whichever year? How did we get there? Because there is the knowledge of the counting system in reference to the abacus. But we have all these BCs and ADs and so on and so forth. They're guest-ish time frames and those factors. Then you have the calendar printing situations. And I, as a child, wondered, well, how did we even get to the year of 1980 or 1990? How, where did this start? How did this begin? When did this happen? Who was it that, sure, okay, there's the Gregorian calendar, there's the Julius calendar, there's these calendars, those calendars, you know, there's, there's you know, all of these cave paintings and different references. You've got the Mayan calendar as well. How did these people have these calendars? Where did these calendars come from? Who brought the calendars? And you know, the Mayan calendar, well, that's not a piece of paper. That is for second. <laughs> there are papers that have been written on it, but that's not the same as the Mayan calendar itself. Just pointing that out there. And so where did this come from? Nobody could answer for me. I asked rabbis. Rabbis were like, well, you know, around this, whatever, whatever. Okay, I had priests and pastors. Oh, well, you know. 2,000 years ago, this occurred. Yeah, well, you know what you said 2,000 years ago, last year, is it 2,000 years ago? Is it 2,001 years ago? Is it 2,002 years ago? Is it 2,003 years ago? Is it 2,004 years ago? How do you know how it is? And as a child, you know, I'd go to teachers. What about this? Where did the calendar come from? Where? Where? How do we have time? I can understand how we have time because of clocks. 
okay? Mike, my biological father, he works on clocks. He works on watching. He does that. Where did the years come from? Because those clocks, those watches, they go over 24 hours. Sure, some of them have like the seven days a week thingamabob. Excuse me, teachers. Where did the years come from? I would like to know. And as a child, <laughs> well, I was, I asked a lot of questions. And <laughs> it was as it was, and nobody had any answers. Everybody was, well, you know, this came from here, or this came from there, or this was the, yeah, but that doesn't answer my question. How is this 1988? How is this 1989? How is this 1990? How is this 1991? How is this 1992? How is this 1993? How is this 1994? How is this 1995? How is this 1996? How is this 1997? How is this 1998? How is this 1999? How is this, you know what? I'm just going in the army. <laughs> I can make a joke in this reference because after I was pregnant with my daughter, I had done this before. So I had, you know, well, since I had seven days of labor in the hospital in reference to the delivery of my son after the several days before being in the hospital for delivery of my son, I have learned from history. Yes. Yes, I don't want to do that again. No, no, I will do that one more time, but hey, is there a way to get a tubal ligation? Something? Uh, no, I don't want birth control. No, 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 no. The best birth control is a tubal ligation, thank you very much. Yes, yes, I had seven days of labor with my son. So at Wilford Hall, these doctors were like, are you sure you think that? No, I know that's how that's gonna be. My biological mother, she had the cesarean regarding myself. She had a cesarean regarding my biological little sister. My maternal grandmother went through this. Uh, 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 no, 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 self-preservation. Yeah, no, so then I had seven days of labor in the hospital with my daughter as well. Yeah, no, excuse me, excuse me, OBGYN, tubal ligation, please. No, I don't want a diaphragm. No, 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 tubal ligation. No, 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 So each year, 2002, can, throughout every appointment. Can I get a, can, I, can you just put it in the paperwork? I don't care if I get a divorce. I don't give a damn if, it, if another male and I get together, you know what? You know what? He's gonna accept the fact I don't wanna give birth. If he actually loves me, he wouldn't want me to go through that. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. He, you know what? Not only if he loves me, would he not want me to go through seven days of labor after whatever of whatever? He himself would have to love himself. You wanna know why? Because he would have to be there. He would have to deal with me being in labor for seven days. I don't believe that there is a man alive that would actually want to be there with the mother of his child for seven days, 24 hours, not allowed to go anywhere except for to go to the latrine and back because be honest on that. Mm -hmm. I believe that any man would ever love me if he ever wanted me to go through that again. Mm -mm. No, no. So why don't you care about me, huh, Wilford Hall? Why? Because if you cared about my health, you wouldn't want me to go through that. Why don't you love me? Why? <laughs> And the OBGYNs were like, well, that's not my job. No, no, no. What your job is, is to make sure that certain things aren't a problem. I, I don't know how you view this. Seven days of labor in the hospital, that's a problem. Yes, yes, that's a huge, do you want that for yourself? Huh? And I actually asked this because I had a male OBGYN at the time. Excuse me, you want to be in the hospital? No, just think. You find a female, you're all snuggle, 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 snuggle. And then she's in like, no, 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 no. Because anybody who's in the medical profession, they know how this is. Mm -hmm. No, 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 just think. And then she's in like, but you can't do anything because you know, you're a doctor, but you're not her doctor. 
How annoying would that be? Huh? Yeah, and then she's in labor. Not one hour. No. 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 Not two hours. No. No, 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 no. Not three hours. No. No, no, no. Not four hours. Oh, uh uh. No, you're not getting off that easy. Mm 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 mm. Five hours? No. Mm mm. Oh, and remember those medications and stuff. And this OBGYN male, he was like, yeah, what? No, 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 because she is going to call you every name in the book. She's going to call you names that you didn't even know were words. <laughs> and do you love her? Hmm? Do you love her? Because if you love her, well, what would you do that to her for? Huh? Huh? So, so one day, I hope, because after each and every OBGYN appointment for, I think it was the first five months of my pregnancy with my daughter, and can I just, is there a way, can you, like, it's already going to be at that point, can you just do the two, like, it's, it's already, like, everything will be, like, right there, it's just a quick little snip, snip, you know, a little cauterizing, you know, done, and, like, everything be cool, everything be cool, so, I, like, five and a half months, you know what I hope? You know what I hope? I hope that if you ever knock a female up, you have to stay there. You have to hold her hand the whole time, and whatever name she calls, you can't unknow that. No, you can't. <laughs> to unknow the words that come out of her mouth. No, 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 no. If you love her, yeah, yeah, if you love her, uh-huh, yeah. And this OBGYN doctor was like, mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, I hope. So that is for those who know, you know, because I didn't have this happen, but for those who are like, I hope you have a child that's just like you. No, 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 no. I, I, I believe that may have been a different capacity of. <laughs> well, that's what he gets for not doing what I told him to. That's, that's what he gets. That's what he gets. Mm -hmm. Because I told him, well, what if? Would it be? Because, you know, she's going to be like, yeah, I know. Remember my name. <laughs> you will remember this hospital room. You will remember where I'm sitting on this table. You will remember my shirt. You will remember my jeans. You will remember what sneakers I'm wearing too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will. And when that day comes, <laughs> It will be when you're holding the hand of the female that you could have prevented certain things from. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would guesstimate anybody who's ever been told. <laughs> I hope you have a child that's just like you. You know what? That's not so bad as that guy. Whoever that OBGYN was, whoo, you know what? <laughs> Let me figure out how to do this instead, so that way I, I don't want to deal with that. No, no, that's okay. No, no, no. What year was this guy? Do you know? Woo -hoo -hoo. No, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would guess. I really, I would. At this point in the year 2022, I would guesstimate. <sighs> well. <laughs> That's what you get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and any parent who's ever said that, oh, your child is just like you. Oh, 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 oh. there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Could have just. Mm -hmm. 
I had to go each and every year because what if you change your mind? No, I'm not going to change my mind about being in labor for seven days. No, 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 I am not a masochist. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Nope, not a masochist. Nope, nope, nope. Not even in regards to the episiotomy sort of. No, 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 no. No, I am not a masochist. No, this is the proof. Each and every year. Oh, well, what if a male wants to have a child with you? He can go, I don't know, I can adopt. I can do this. I can do, I do not need to be pregnant again. No, excuse me, excuse me. And so, okay, okay, so I've, I've, I, I, I went, I was over 200 pounds when I delivered my daughter, okay? I went from a barely there, A cup-ish, barely a B, barely, okay? And so then I was an E or a double E when I was breastfeeding, okay? And then, you know, well, <laughs> Well, you know, so I, had, <laughs> I didn't like how I physically looked. Well, it was during the time frame after the attacks on the 11th of September, 2001. I know that I was entitled to the, the surgeries, but I also knew how the referral processes were. I also knew those factors and while yes, I ha entitled, absolutely, absolutely, but yet morally and ethically I couldn't. Because I knew that there would be a day that I would be capable to afford it, somehow, in comparison. And with everything that was going on during the time frame, I mean, I, if I remember correctly, this was 2004, maybe 2005, and it just didn't matter, because I knew that not that it didn't matter, it mattered, but not, you know, it was weighing the options. What matters more to me? Something that, despite the situations, I chose to give birth to my son and I chose to give birth to my daughter. Obviously, there were different types of clinics around at that time frame, but I believe in life. And so, <clears throat> what is more important to me? Well, I believe in life. And all of those appointments that it would take at those times to just get to the point of the actual, and it would be two different surgeries in comparison to just one time frame. Well, I can't do that. I can't knowingly, morally and ethically knowing that, well, what if that one surgery or one appointment or whatever is a quicker way for whichever guy and what if he's capable or she is capable don't matter to get to a different type of education to where they are capable to go in whatever capacity or they're capable to go to employment in that reference or they're capable to have this or that instead how could i justify Something that, yes, I know I'm entitled to, but knowing the amount of appointments that it would take in an overall way, so in regards of the breast augmentation and tummy tuck, knowing that it would be a minimum of five appointments each before ever getting into the surgery area. Well, that's five appointments that somebody could have for skin grafting. That's five appointments that somebody could have to fit a prosthetic that's or work with that's because of the way the military as to the um, clinics because I was a medical hold unit so I knew how that went and so th that's that's five appointments and so plastic surgery in reference to the military well it's an all-encompassing it's not something that's um, specified and so yeah I could but what about you know that's five appointments that somebody could get a burn taken care of that's five appointments that you know somebody could have a reconstruction to their whatever in whatever capacity of and so I couldn't allow myself to do that 
because even though, despite how I got pregnant, despite the justice of the peace, despite all that, I still made the choice to give birth to my son. I still made the choice to give birth to my daughter. So no, I, I couldn't do that. Because even though, yes, there is the entitlement, well, there are guys who might not be capable to do something at that level at that point in time, and it may take them time to be capable to bring themselves up to speed. Well, if I take those five appointments twice, if I do that, then that prevents them from being capable to take care of what they need, and that prevents them from progressing in comparison. And what if these guys, in whichever capacity of, could progress and then they are capable to assist here and there among a larger aspect. And so that's how I looked at it and I know that it, it, I had plenty of people that had their opinions as far as that was concerned and didn't really matter to me what their opinions were. I knew that it was important because I could see how things were. So in reference to the education system, which is obviously different, though in some connected capacities of, in the reference of Will Kane and Pete Hexa, they were discussing how World War II isn't really discussed. Well, in the years of essentially 2005, or 2006, I should say, 2006 through 2010, they weren't discussing the attacks on 9-11. That was a massive situation in the history of the United States of America and in any state of the United States of America with as many veterans as there are. Not just during the time frame of, but prior generations of not just active duty, National Guard, reservists, as far as all those military bases. They weren't, not just, and not just in Carrollton, Texas, this was even in San Antonio, Texas, where they were not, and I didn't understand that. It made absolutely no sense to me. How could you have such a large amount of military installations within one state how could you have this many veterans throughout one state? How? This is, these guys are living history. They were good enough at their jobs, whatever it was, despite whatever injury, they were good enough at their job to survive. There has to be somebody who would actually be wanting and needing to actually learn in the correct capacities of, in comparison to just, oh, you know, yeah, sure, whatever, as far as the different, not just medical aspects, though the educational aspects. So I can give a, a reference to, in regards of the BDSM, which is supposed to be the Consenting Adult Lifestyle Community. I could understand in regards of an individual that I know of in specific, yes, I could easily see why some might say, uh, in regards of, I don't know what the background is, I don't know what the military factors as to MOS or anything like that. I could see why though, especially in the Austin area of Texas, as to those particular capacities. However, that's the other thing where it's supposed to be the consenting adult lifestyle and that's not a fetish, that type of work in that hypothetical. There's something different in that capacity. So I, I could see both sides in that reference as to the educational factors because it's not a fetish. Some might think it is and yet it's not. It's, it's much more in that hypothetical, and so there are those other factors of progressing forward. So you have the knowledge as to the oceanic waters as well as space aspects. Well, you wanna be prepared. 
that educational factor as to what is capable, whether it is in that particular individual a self-defense type of thing that could be a different aspect of in comparison to or what have you in those factors. And so not just that, but also other educational viewpoints. My personal opinion, but is as it is. Not just in what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle, because certain things just aren't a fetish. Certain things are more than that. And yes, there are things that you can learn in underground scenes in that capacity of, though at the same time, the proper bringing forward of that. So in regards of making sure, especially with certain things, um, as I would guess to me, because I'm going, I would know for a fact, though not specifics of, with the state of Texas, as many of those particular situations too. And so those regards as to how it wasn't taught in a public school system in two different areas, or technically, technically three different areas of the state of Texas. So I can actually say, in reference to San Antonio, where my son began school, well, they didn't talk about that there, in reference to Carrollton, Texas, as far as McCoy Elementary School, they didn't talk about that there. In regards to Cedar Park, they didn't talk about that there. In reference to Irving, they didn't talk about that there. And in reference to Thousand Oaks Elementary School, they didn't talk about that there. During the time frame that my son and my daughter were in school during those times. It's all over the state of Texas, different areas, two different areas in one city, and then two different areas in one school district. And so to those particular points, well, how do you learn from history if you don't teach history? Because then comes the saying, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. The other saying is, those who have learned from history are doomed to watch others repeat it. And then there's a saying that's, uh, I should say, it's a thought that I've had. Well, yes, there are people who, if they don't learn from history, they're doomed to repeat it. There are people who, if they have learned from history, they're doomed to watch others repeat it. And then there are those who have learned from history, and both parts in truth to those two sayings. Though they're capable to assist in educating, to bring forward actual change as to these different factors. And so you can actually learn from history if you take the actual steps to do so. And so in that particular reference, there are those factors to review. So the Texas border is not just the physical border as to the land masses. There's also the water. There's the Gulf of Mexico. And with the oceanic factors as to the Navy regarding the Tic Tac video, for one particular viewpoint, there are those situations to consider as well, in my opinion. And so I'm just one person, I'm just me. And there are plenty of other people who have more in-depth detail as to their backgrounds and educational factors and so on and so forth in those specific capacities. Doesn't matter what gender in that reference for the majority of situations. So about 99.999% certain things, the gender means nothing as to the biological factor regarding certain capabilities. Other capabilities, well, yeah, you know, it is as it is regarding that. And so the viewpoint as to the knowledge, the earth, is literally just 
one planet in the solar system as it is known to this day on the 15th of June, 2022. That is not the entire Milky Way galaxy. That doesn't go into the differences because as when you take a look at an atom, well, the nucleus looks different than protons, which look different than electrons for that particular viewpoint to take into consideration. And again, while I don't know how the actual year calendar. So yes, I understand in regards of the monthly care calendar. I can understand in reference to the solar calendar and the lunar calendar in reference to astrological signs, zodiac type signs, so on and so forth. In regards of the numerical portion though, well that's kind of where I've been confused. Before my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 and well after. I had injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. There was a individual, if I remember correctly, it was the year 2004. I refer to him as Second Corinthians. And so Second Corinthians, he showed up with a female, I presume was his wife at that time. And it was after the situations regarding my biological little sister and those who would have read and or would know regarding after our biological mother and biological father purchased the house in San Antonio through the bridge loan situation and her first week in high school. Just a few months after the situation regarding my backyard, those three teenagers that I didn't invite to my house and that hairspray situation among a few other factors. So second Corinthians had shown up to my house. Now remember in regards of that, I had called the phone number from the caller ID and left a voicemail in regards of, so that way could speak with directly as far as what I knew that way, whatever capacities up, because I knew certain things regarding my biological little sister, whether or not she understood that at that time. And so in attempts to the health and well-being during that time, I <laughs> made the attempts I could despite the temper tantrums regarding my biological little sister and those three teenagers regarding that. And so a few months after that in the following year, who I refer to as Second Corinthians showed up to my front door. And so I heard the doorbell ring and I walked up to the front and this particular individual, this male and female, male had the Bible with him. Now, if he's one of the parents or not, I wouldn't know. I just refer to him as Second Corinthians. So I come outside and may I help you? And he had said that he was there to speak with <laughs> who it was, if I remember correctly, it was during the first part, uh, first separation time frame. And he said, oh, uh, I'm here to speak with your husband. Ah, and I looked and I saw that he had a Bible and I said, why would you ever speak with him or about the Bible? <laughs> what, would, what would there ever be for you to speak with him about the Bible at all? And Second Corinthians, as I refer to him as, well, um, and he looked back to the female and I'm going to guesstimate my voice in comparison and she just kind of sort of yes I, I I've smoked cigarettes since I was a teenager and it is as it is my biological father smoked lucky strikes and Paul Mall no filters in the house throughout the years and you know not only in regards of the basement and then the main floor though the jewelry shop was right next to where my crib was at the time. 
So, you know, it is as it is. Okay, I understand that. It's more of an alto in comparison to soprano, thankfully. <laughs> My personal opinion, I can appreciate higher pitched tones when it's the appropriate song and, you know, comparison. So, you know, second or first soprano regarding the Hallelujah Choir. Well, yes, that's, that's where that belongs. In comparison to Avril Lavigne's Skater Boy, <laughs> that soprano tone of voice or Gretchen Wilson's Redneck Woman, no, that's soprano voice is not, not where that belongs at all. It's personal. Talk about tone deaf in a different capacity. And I learned from Mrs. Bauer. So I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. So, you know, I can make the joke. My biological father, he played the deeper as far as the um, handbells. So he had the bigger bells. In I was in the middle. I was in the middle. I had, I was, I had a few. It was, I think it was four or six. I can't remember as far as that and usually about I think it was six bells that I had at some most of the songs after learning chimes and stuff like that so that is as it is nonetheless so in that reference um at St. John Vianney High School while in handbells as well as during my confirmation class I took Latin I took Greco-Roman Latin and again in block scheduling so two and a half years in the comparison of what some people would view as to whatever their school system would be compared to block scheduling. So I was in my third year of Latin, essentially, regarding despite the time. And so in one particular class, I had project that was an extra credit project to the other factors and had made a wind chime and it had to be completely symbolic regarding that particular project and so I had picked a story I can't remember what it was though it was in reference to a female I can't remember the name she had done something and the King was like, well, go ahead and line something up or whatever and, and what have you. And so she took a cow and he, he said, go ahead, you know, go ahead and whatever you can cover with this cow. And so what he thought she was going to do was just, you know, take the hide and that's what it was. What she did instead was make a rope out of it. And it was this huge area, all sorts of land all around. And she went and got the king and was like, here you go, this is mine. And he had to honor his word, as far as that was concerned. So that's what, that's what it was, as far as that was concerned. So, uh, and then there was the bells or the chimes, as far as the navy, because it was near the water regarding that and then uh, there was something else i can't remember the symbolic portion but mike helped me put it together as far as because of the welding as far as that was concerned because of the way the chimes actually had to be other than that that's my project and that was after my spaceship regarding that teardrop situation which was like a stone much larger than <laughs> which was after the soccer ball or the well, whatever regarding the egg drop. And so I can make a joke because he's first generation Chinese, you know. I don't personally like egg drop soup. No, I personally don't. I like wonton soup, personally. It's my it's personal preference. <laughs> in comparison, maybe it's because I'm half Chinese, you know, in comparison to first generation. You know, just pointing that out there. So... <laughs> Nonetheless, then there's that factor as to my buck gung and my buck poo and my buck poo's work. 
as far as those situations. And defenses of, and then my childhood and my teenage years, and you know, there's stuff possibly off of the, I don't know who that would be a report to in those references. I guess that might be those guys in black suits with the white button down shirts and the black ties. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nonetheless, I know there's NASA now, and then there's the formation of the US Space Force. And so the capacity to intellectually understand knowledge is an available option for many utilizing technology in one reference, among others, obviously books. Then there's the reference of being capable to understand knowledge translates to being capable to explain it in a capacity where it's understandable, even in layman terms. That's, that's what the minimum portions are for understanding. That's not in regards of comprehension, that's just in the references to understanding. And so there is the capacities where in comprehension it does get a bit difficult because, well, what are the words to utilize in a layman's term because of certain factors. So the best that I can do right now would be in reference to not only, well, 2 Corinthians showing up and, okay, well, I don't know why you'd speak with, who is now my dead ex-husband, but okay, I'll speak with you and instead. <laughs> I have a feeling you wanted to speak with me anyway. And 2 Corinthians is just kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> And so he had, the reason why I call him 2 Corinthians is because we discuss various factors <clears throat> back and forth about the biblical texts. And at that time, I didn't have my hair styled the way it is, and I didn't have my tattoos the way they are at that point. And it's my natural hair color. And if I remember, my hairstyle maybe was to here, possibly to here. And so we went back and forth regarding different things. I don't believe I spoke with him about the Sri Yantra to that level at that point, though I did discuss different other factors. And so he and I went back and forth and it was a, it was a riveting debate as far as that was in my opinion. I had a lot of fun with it as far as quite a few factors. And so he, um, I, at one point he said something and I had asked him, well, what is it in regards of the current time frame? And this again was 2004, if I remember correctly. What is it of the current time frame if somebody were to tell you that they were Jesus Christ? There are many people who have been named Jesus, for one example. If someone were to come up to you and say that they were Jesus Christ, there are certain factors that, especially at this current point in time, that people would have a different viewpoint. And who I call Second Corinthians, he was just, well, what do you mean? Well, your Bible, how many years ago was it that you were taught that Jesus Christ came to earth? And his response was, oh, 2000 years ago. So I brought up, well, I was told that back in the 1980s, that was 2,000 years ago. This is 2004, although now it's 2022. Don't you think that the time should have changed? Wouldn't that be something to take in consideration? So what is it in this reference that you want to discuss. And then I informed him about uh, baby Jesus Christ as far as I was concerned in the Methodist church and all that. And <laughs> his response was, I'm a, I have a biblical scripture to quote to you. Okay, 
go ahead. And, 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 it, and it was just that simple. It wasn't being rude. It wasn't being arrogant. It was just, go ahead. I welcome it. Let's go. <laughs> and so he got out the second Corinthians or opened to second Corinthians. And it says in second Corinthians that Jesus Christ said, I charge you to go make followers. <laughs> tell the difference and second Corinthians well there is it go ahead go ahead no that's fine go ahead come on <laughs> no let's go shortly thereafter there was this rain bird situation <laughs> regarding <laughs> my backyard lived in a homeowners association at the time <laughs> what is this I, I broke it off of my own fence what is this <laughs> I could have probably gotten a screwdriver, but I was making a point. <laughs> and since it was a Phillips head screwdriver that I would have needed, by technicalities, I did. <laughs> a very different capacity. I'm that much of a dork, it's okay. <laughs> Nonetheless, when you take in consideration as to the educational factors, the mental health awareness, the understanding, the comprehension, various factors. And then when you do have the situations such as NASA, such as the Navy and the Marines and the Coasties, especially regarding the water, though you have the Air Force and the Army in reference to different other areas and different sites and having to distinguish the factors and then head injuries and various situations, prescriptions, so on and so forth, how do you distinguish? Because of that need, especially when you take in consideration where the earth is to the sun, as far as the solar system as it is known at this point. And so with the knowledge that, okay, well, <laughs> How is it 1776? How do we know it's 1776? When did they start counting? What is this Mayan calendar? Excuse me. <laughs> Where did it begin? How? I annoyed some of my teachers way back when. I, I wouldn't doubt there'd be certain people who might understand that. <laughs> Different factors and it is as it is you know some people might have different opinions as far as that's concerned so just picture a child and <laughs> in comparison and <laughs> it's a very dorky child really was it was a really 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 dorky child my maternal biological grandmother she was very patient with me <laughs> And then there was Grandpa Gavitt and all those factors and, you know, as far as I was concerned. And after Grandpa Gavitt went and you know, he passed on and stuff like that, Grandma Gavitt was, you know, she had to do the best she could and stuff like that. So it went the way it did. I was a little bit of a dork though. <laughs> so... <laughs> so in those references of the educational factors, though also the current time frame. Well, doesn't really matter, in my opinion, uh, the political choice, personally. Personally to me, I am a Republican more along the lines because of the historical references as to Though, when it comes to handling situations, it doesn't matter to me. The, whatever needs to be taken care of in certain references when I've had to go handle situations, that's what matters. So in regards of my scuba diving, it wasn't, well, excuse me, I need to do a poll to see how many Democrats are over here and how many Republicans are over here. You know, no, it just was I needed to take care of what I needed to take care of and I took care of what needed to be taken care of. Same thing even as a child, I just view things the way I do. So 
in reference to the year of 2008 and 2009 and 2010, especially regarding the political situations at that time, whether in reference to my scuba diving and or my son and my daughter's education in a public school, McCoy Elementary, Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District, well, their choice to handle those situations at that time were as they were. And the irony is at a board meeting when I went to bring up the Fort Worth Zoo, instead of the Pledge of Allegiance, they wanted to say the Our Father Prayer. Instead. They did not know that I'm an ordained reverend. They did not know that my biological mother and biological father were a deacon and a trustee of a Presbyterian church that is a historical church, no less, where it was used as a hospital during the Revolutionary War. And so General George Washington's private offices out back, they did not know that. They knew that I was born and raised in New Jersey. That's it. So while, yes, they didn't say the pledge to the Texas flag, because I didn't know that until the year 2020, to, as far as the 2020 election cycle, I only knew the Pledge of Allegiance, which in the year of 2007, despite the IRR aspects, I saluted during the time frame of the National Anthem as to a National Guard graduation. And so, yes, at that point, my hairstyle was as it was. This was on Camp Mabry. And, of course, it wasn't known that I didn't graduate basic training, though I look as I do. And it really upset my now dead ex-husband at that point in time. And, you know, he was alive. It was during the second and final separation. And so... He had problems, as did others, because how dare I, as looking as I do, ever have the nerve to be patriotic, to be thankful and appreciative, especially in regards of what the training was to go overseas after the attacks on the 11th of September. How dare I? How dare I have the nerve to salute? during that point in time. Mm -hmm. On that point of grounds, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I got the blue ID card. I'm the one and only sponsor. So then there's, well, why do you got a problem with that? When you really take that in consideration, how dare I, how dare you, Texas National Guard, how dare you have the nerve to have a problem with me saluting the American flag? How dare you ever have the nerve to look down on me when I was the one who was born and raised in New Jersey? I was the one who grew up going around the tri-state area. 1980s and 1990s. How dare you have a problem with that in any capacity? How dare you have a problem with me being thankful and appreciative, especially in of any area, the Austin area of the state of Texas? How dare you have any issue with that at all? in that hypothetical. But hey, then there's the J.C. Penn pictures and IRR and all that to take in consideration. If in that hypothetical of having whichever side that was chosen. So, you know, um, those types of misunderstandings, I suppose because then there's the garage situation as to who you saw there 
in comparison to what I guess to make your assumptions. And then, please, any male who has ever either cheated on a female or male that they were dating and or married to and or assisted, well, there's the garage situation in comparison. So then there's that factor to think about and keep in mind instead. I am a bit stubborn and I'm quite thorough. So if it wasn't known that I am who I am because, well, it wouldn't be a surprise if you weren't informed. He did have a problem with his own brother choosing uh, plumbing in comparison to anything else. So, you know, the infantry aspects, what would you think would be the viewpoint of? And if he did certain things, you know, similar to how my biological little sister, well, take that in consideration as well, compared to. So, you know, if that was brought up and, you know, those types of temper tantrums as to that, well, yes, as the one and only sponsor, you know, in comparison, because he didn't sponsor anything, should do the actual knowledge aspects to make sure you're properly educated it's what's wrong with assumptions. The comparison. Shouldn't ever assume that just because, whether in reference to attending one event or assuming just because of attending whatever capacities of, because you have no reasons that you are aware of, except for whatever your assumption. And so then there's my work regarding my 26 scuba diving certifications I earned and my biological little sister wouldn't ever have any knowledge. You know, there's four years of a difference just to her birth in comparison. And then there's the intellectual capacities, you know, and that massive difference, obviously. And then there's actual etiquette and actual respect in that comparison. Because similarly to childhood where my biological father, he did have, and still whatever as far as the certifications. Well, as anybody knows, how many people actually get a degree and actually work in that actual field? It's kind of ironic, don't you think? I mean, my own biological mother has a master's degree and she didn't ever work in that field. However, my biological father, he got certified and was working on watches and all that sort of stuff. He actually worked in that field. And in reference to myself, well, I earned 26 scuba diving certifications and I could work in any of those fields. You know, if given the opportunity, I know the college aspects as far as those really expensive pieces of paper. Some are worth it, some. And so, you know, there's that. Though the experience, which if I remember correctly, I think Pete Hegseth has a military background. So those experiences well, those are irreplaceable. And they are educational at the exact same time. So, in the references of, sure, I'm not a scuba dive instructor. Nope. I don't want to deal with that bureaucracy. I don't want to deal with that red tape. I don't want to deal with that assumption 
those references. I just didn't want to, that was something I wasn't willing to do as far as I was concerned, though I did inform people about scuba diving and inform them, make sure you take it seriously. Make sure you educate yourself. Doesn't matter whether they were active duty, National Guard reservists, veteran, dependent, or civilian. Law enforcement, fire department, EMS, didn't matter. Make sure you actually do this. I, rec I recommend it a lot of time. Take the discovery scuba first to make sure that you actually have that comfort level so that way you could make sure that that's something you actually want to do because you know if if you have certain things where you don't realize certain other factors well there are complications that can occur if you are not prepared so I recommend it. Your choice is your choice. If you choose to do discovery scuba or if you just choose to go in all the way, that's your choice. I recommend the discovery scuba, mainly because some people just, they're not meant to do that. They're meant to look at other things. It's a choice though, how you choose to do it. And so um, I have discussed that at areas where some people such as in the dfw area and a few who were scuba dive instructors in the civilian recreational area they got upset because they didn't understand why i didn't push scuba diving well i'd rather have responsible scuba divers in comparison to lazy recreational scuba divers, especially in the oceanic waters. It's kind of really important. So, you know, I don't take my scuba diving lightly. I did a lot of work well before I got into scuba diving. And so I'm speaking from experience in comparison to most recreational civilian types of scuba divers because if they don't have certain experiences, well, there is a difference between scuba diving in a hot springs area compared to swimming in the Atlantic off of the New Jersey coastline. As a child, but as an adult, there is a difference between growing up each and every summer going out to different areas along the New Jersey and New York State coastline and swimming comparison to learning to scuba dive in a lake or a pond or a reservoir or even a hot springs. And so in the Aquarina hot springs, there were these hula hoops that were put in this one area and in order to finish one portion of, you had to swim through these three hoops, which in that civilian recreational viewpoint, you can take in consideration, however, in regards of, and this is why. There's, this was the biggest sign for me regarding making sure my education was better in conjunction to making sure I knew my scuba dive gear, because when the instructors had said, this is part of how you graduate, I didn't want to have anything to do with that type of scuba dive instruction at all, whatsoever. That put a full kibosh on every aspect as to my viewpoint regarding how civilian recreational scuba divers handled themselves in comparison to the massive difference between their type of scuba diving compared to mine. And that was for my first scuba diving certification regarding National Geographic Open Water. So I swam through, made it through, perfect, automatic, first run through. Everybody else in that particular class, you know, well, you could tell easily who had already been hypothetically certified and were, you know, it was 
they, you know, it wasn't me, maybe it wasn't those individuals, mommy or daddy, in their biological way, putting them through, hypothetically, you know, it's a different type of mommy or daddy that put them through that course. And so I just, I wasn't willing to deal with that. And I went through once, and I watched everybody else go through and the interim of taking care of other situations. And so, you know, from that, just from that particular situation, nope, I'm not doing that your way. I'm doing scuba diving my way. I got my background as far as my childhood and my teenage years, as far as going out to the Atlantic from the shoreline of New Jersey and New York. Yeah, I'm not going to trust any of you people in that reference regarding the individuals in that class because the males said in the class that that was their first time scuba. I didn't trust that at all. So, nope. I've peed in my wetsuit. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be like one of those females at all, or biological females in those references. I'm damn sure not going to be like any of those males, as far as that's concerned. So, yeah, I'm not going to tell you to trust me. You'll either see whether or not you can, as far as through what have you, or it's your choice. But I'm not going to fight for that. Oh, I'm not going to tell you in those capacities of because that style of what have you. No, no, thank you. I would rather have the brutal honesty in comparison to some fluffy, pretty little what have you instead. So my personal opinion, though. And so when it came to after a certain point in time in 2009, Regarding my scuba diving, well, 31st of December in 2009, I had already made as many attempts as I had. And so that bureaucracy, that red tape, and I went over. That's, well, I literally went over it in comparison. So in that reference at that time of the new year in 2009 into 2010, well, that first weekend in the month of January 2010, where it was my scuba diving for my polar bear scuba dive. I was the youngest at the time regarding biological adults in comparison to the little teenagers. There's a difference as to the type of scuba dive certifications in comparison. Though Those types, as far as junior scuba divers, would not necessarily have the knowledge to pay attention to that, you know, because you know, mommy and daddy took care of it in comparison to actually earning it. You know, those types, I'm sure there are a few who understand that in comparison. And so in those particular references, I was engaged to an individual. And when I went in the water, he would know what he dealt with. And he was, he knew I was involved in what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle and the DFW area, he also knew about my modeling at that point in time, and he also knew why. I had informed him why, as far as that was concerned, and since the civilian recreational scuba divers weren't taking anything seriously because they were civilian recreational scuba divers, and only if something occurred to them would they ever start taking things seriously because of being civilian recreational scuba divers. So when you're not a civilian recreational scuba diver and you're a civilian scuba diver, well then that's different than a civilian recreational scuba diver. But in order to be a civilian scuba diver in comparison to a civilian recreational scuba diver, well, there are certain minimum requirements in comparison. And so obviously that's different than military scuba diving, law enforcement scuba diving, you know, fire department scuba diving, and EMS scuba diving, huge difference. But I also had, you know, been working on my creation of the underwater travel system. So, you know, civilian recreational scuba divers that would be ignorant and only be doing that lazy type of civilian recreational scuba diving 
where they would fail to ever pay attention, I'm gonna guesstimate. Well, that's their failure, and that's what their problems are regarding those hoop jumping situations, hypothetically. So in the Austin area, as to after <laughs> I had to defend myself regarding the corona situation, and then explain and make attempts to explain why that particular time frame and Skabuda having had his issues in those references because first off, how dare I actually defend myself? And secondly, how dare I defend myself? Oh, and third, how dare I defend myself? And fourth, how dare I defend my son and my daughter being their only mom? In comparison, but you know, those types, as far as those considerations, you know, that um, Miller connected and, eh, you know, no, 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 no. No, thank you. As far as that's concerned, those situations, I am not into politics there. That, obviously. Anyway, those references as to the difference between, you know, politics or civilian recreational scuba diving in comparison to work. Stand it out. Those differences. Experience matters. My lives. So it is as it is. And um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't ever consent to uh, my biological little sister ever being involved with anything that I specifically did not inform her in person, face to face, in person. That millennial type of garbage, that's always been an issue with that one. She just didn't learn from history, apparently. So there's those factors to that consideration, you know, that type. So then I had been engaged twice to the same individual and there were several situations. So the civilian recreational scuba divers, they didn't really like him because it's, he wasn't a scuba diver. Then my biological little sister didn't like him. I don't know why <laughs> she didn't like him. Maybe he told her no instead, and that was part of it. Or if he was a Republican like myself, then there's those factors and that consideration. So then in Austin, he and I went to an event, and ironically, in comparison to polar bear scuba diving, we had attended a event in Austin. It was a New Year celebration, and I had seen some fizzing that reminded me as to the corona situation in Austin. Well, I already dealt with the rave situation in Brackenridge in regards of 2000, and I couldn't say anything. I didn't have the words. Not until around the year 2016 or 2017 when my son informed me of some of the class work that he had been involved with at the high school, still at the high school. And so, you know, those factors as far as that's concerned. And so, you know, he lived as far as that individual, although he would know as to that night in regards of. And so since in comparison to the Corona beer where Scabuda was given the rest of that Corona beer, I took care of that particular situation. So, you know, I defended myself as best as I could and that individual was capable to stay safe from that in comparison because didn't look like an Advil, the kind of looked ish, similar without the candy coated flavor situation. So, you know, but you know, if you actually appreciate life, that wouldn't be a problem. If you have to actually appreciate life, you actually have to prefer life, you know, so if you actually prefer life, that isn't a problem. If you don't prefer life, well, then there's that. But I prefer life. I prefer living. 
in comparison. So, you know, those types only if. But they'd have to actually learn from history to learn to not repeat history, to actually learn from history, to actually progress forward correctly. Otherwise, well, that's their doom in comparison. So, and that's the facts, especially, you know, I mean, if you realize that in the Milky Way galaxy and the solar system of the Milky Way galaxy, that location in comparison and only having that viewpoint of that linear flat way, you might want to really take into consideration um, actually learning from instead of repeating the same mistakes. You should probably learn to be better and do better. That is, of course, if you actually prefer life. If, if you prefer life. I prefer life, but I don't know of any people in regarding a few situations that actually have preferred life. I mean, there's my biological little sister. Obviously, she hasn't proven to me that she actually preferred life uh, at all. And there are ways to actually prove that in comparison to just breeding. That's, that's, that's not actually preferring life. There's a difference. Mm -hmm, yeah. So that wouldn't ever prove to me of the preference of life at all. That's not a way to do so. I would be ignorant to think that. Yeah, but that is as it is. Nobody's ever asked me what that would be to actually show that. It's a few communication glitches regarding those types of people to ever think that the only way to communicate would be through technology. That would be a failure of communication, actually, because there's no actual communication unless there's that Mandarinized view where the dot-com part was misunderstood because of those little, you know, LOL situations or yellow in comparison to actual education. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, so, but in that hypothetical in comparison to those types, so. Again, congratulations to the Republican Party in the state of Texas as far as some of those flipped seats from that, uh, you know, actual education. It's that way progressing forward because, you know, actual progression forward is for life and living in comparison. Yeah, so if you don't have that viewpoint, and, and then you, you have to acknowledge that. So I think it was in Outnumbered, or maybe it was the five that they had discussed, maybe, or it might have been Gut Fault that they discussed that 12 step pro program, you know, acknowledging you have a situation, you know, in a different comparison to the seven stages of grief, you know, so, you know, that 12 step program of acknowledging certain things and so on and so forth. So, there are some factors to those references in order to progress forward and those educational factors looking at those different sectors would be considered important. You know, again, if you're actually interested in life. So, I, I am, but you know, those references of how life is actually supposed to be in comparison to what some people think. You know, because their opinions in comparison. So make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos, go make sure to watch and listen to my official YouTube videos. Check out my journal blog, The Ordinary PSA, through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydoryval.com. 
you know. And so in those particular references, also look through my artwork that I created. And then also go to the book section on my website, www.susanmeeling.com which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com where I copyrighted my books on purpose and that Library of Congress stuff and because it's my life and all that. That's, uh, that's also the important factor is to my books and you know, you'd have to have that knowledge. Otherwise, you know, those problems that some might have ignorantly thought because they would have thought that they could have though it is an interesting hypothetical if you listen to the will kane show with the pete hegseth situation maybe some people can hypothetically find some quinky things in the current time frame compared to and the problems that could be seen in that hypothetical just from, you know, the updates regarding 2019 into 2020, 2021, and 2022, which this year, 2022, the 15th of June. You guys have a great day. Today is the 15th of June, 2022.